Hey guys, Enigma here, and today we're going to be reacting to a scene from Star Wars. The fleet! Order them to stop firing, there's still time to take the fleet! Pen? It's time to let old things die. So Kylo's doing a pacifying behaviour here. In our minds we have what's called a limbic system, which regulates and controls our response to emotional stress. And it basically uses pacifying behaviours as a way to release some of the stress. Kylo then tenses his mouth, which is a micro-expression. What that is is a very short non-verbal cue that reveals our genuine thoughts and feelings. We try and hide these because they basically show exactly what we're feeling and thinking. And in this case, I would say that the mouth tense is another pacifying behaviour. Now Kylo has a lot of emotional stress and he's exhibiting this reaction. Snoke, Skywalker, the Sith, the Jedi, the Rebels, let it all die. Ray, I want you to join me. When he asks Rey to join him, he again tenses his mouth, another pacifying behaviour. He's really nervous about asking Rey to join him, the same way you would be nervous about asking out your crush, which is kind of the same thing going on here. Our brain makes us do this as a response to the stressful situation. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Ben. Please don't go this way. No, no, you're still holding on! Let go! Rey is making stronger than average eye contact here, which shows that she still sees Kylo as a threat. She's trying to take in as much light as possible with her eyes in order to make better survival judgments. Now, when we encounter a stressor, we need to be informed as to what's going on. And Rey is doing just that. Kylo is still a threat to her and she knows it. Do you want to know the truth about your parents? Or have you always known? Are you just hidden it away? You know the truth. Say it. Say it. They were nobody. So in body language, proxemics defines the distance between people in communication. Kylo gets closer to Rey when he talks about her family, which is a comforting behaviour when you take into account the context. He's offering emotional support and moves in closer to evoke an emotional reaction from Rey. Now Rey doesn't respond, her baseline stays the same, and she isn't swayed by him. This kind of shows that she doesn't feel that connection with him. She then does what's called a distancing behaviour when Kylo asks her to say it. Distancing behaviours are a way for the brain to put distance between itself and a stressor. She looks to the floor as a way to remove herself from the situation by not making eye contact with Kylo, showing deep emotion emotional stress. They're filthy junk traders who sold you off for drinking money. <laughs> the dead in a pauper's grave in the Jakku desert. You have no place in this story. You come from nothing. You're nothing. Ray keeps tensing her lips, which is a way of her suppressing her emotions. It's obvious she isn't the happiest of bunnies right now. She also tenses her eyes, which is another common way we respond to emotional stress. She then continues to do more distancing behaviours. But not to me. Join me. Kylo maintains strong eye contact when he says, but not to me, basically admitting that he has feelings for her. Rey then looks at him the moment he admits this, which is a sign of interest. She is shocked by his admission. And when Kylo extends his hand, his mouth tenses again, showing that he's going through a lot of stress doing this. I think this is him being nervous of Rey's reaction. Rey looks to his hand and looks back at him, and her eyebrows raise slightly. She wants to accept, but she knows she can't. The slight raise of the eyebrows is actually a sign of attraction. She likes Kylo. This scene has brilliant acting with a lot of realistic body language. So much information was given off in the subtle non-verbal cues, which adds a lot of detail to this scene. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And also check out my Patreon if you'd like to support the channel further. Thanks for watching.